Hi guys, it's Bags and President Ross. Today we have an updated election map according to realclearpolling.com. Who do you guys want to win? Let us know in the comments. Also, like, share, and subscribe for more videos. All right, everyone, realclearpolling.com is how we are going to fill in this beautiful election map. For a, about two weeks, Donald J. Trump was leading in every swing and battleground state in the 2024 election. Let's see if that still rings true. Let's get ready to fill in that beautiful map for you guys and gals. We have the blue states, as always, are Washington, Oregon, California, Hawaii, Colorado, New Mexico, Minnesota, parts of Nebraska, Illinois, New York, New Hampshire, Vermont, Connecticut, New Jersey, Massachusetts, Delaware, Rhode Island, Maryland, and the District of D.C. and Virginia, as well as parts of Maine and Nebraska. Those blues are all for Kamala Harris and Timothy Walls. And as always, the red states for Donald J. Trump and J.D. Vance are Montana, Idaho, Wyoming, Utah, Alaska, North Dakota, South Dakota, most of Nebraska, Kansas, Oklahoma, Iowa, Missouri, Arkansas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Florida, South Carolina, Tennessee, Kentucky, West Virginia, Ohio, Indiana, and parts of Maine are red for Donald J. Trump and J.D. Vance. That leaves 93 electoral votes that will decide the 2024 election. Those toss-up states are Nevada, Arizona, Wisconsin, Michigan, Pennsylvania, North Carolina, and Georgia. We are going to fill in these battleground slash swing states and see who wins the uh, 2024 election. Kamala Harris currently has 226 electoral votes to Donald J. Trump's 219. So, first up is Nevada. According to RealClearPolling.com, Trump has a 0.7 lead in Nevada, making Nevada red for Donald J. Trump. Arizona, according to RealClearPolling.com, Arizona has Trump at a 1.3 lead, giving Arizona to Donald J. Trump. RealClearPolling.com has Wisconsin. Wisconsin has Trump at a 0.5 lead, making Wisconsin red for Donald J. Trump. Michigan, according to RealClearPolling.com, and it's 15 electoral votes, Michigan has Harris at a 0.3 lead. Donald J. Trump has been dethroned as the winner of all seven election battleground states. Michigan is blue for Kamala Harris. Now she closes the gap. 241 electoral votes to Donald J. Trump's 246 electoral votes. People have been saying that Trump doesn't need to win Michigan in order to secure the election. Those 15 electoral votes aren't important. And they have been saying that Wisconsin... 10 electoral votes Trump doesn't need to win to win the election. They aren't that important. Well, let me just tell you this. The winner of any election, Kamala Harris or Donald J. Trump, Joe Biden or Donald J. Trump, Obama or uh, John McCain, every electoral vote matters no matter how big or how small. So for the people saying that Kamala Harris doesn't need Wisconsin and Michigan to win and Donald J. Trump doesn't need Wisconsin and Michigan to win, 25 electoral votes is a huge deal to every side of the aisle. Anyone who says they don't need a state to win is stupid. I'm saying that now. 25 electoral votes is a lot of electoral votes and can turn the tide for either candidate in either or any election. Just want to get that out there. Tell me if you agree or disagree in the comments below. Next up is Georgia. According to RealClearPolling.com, Trump has a 2.3 lead in Georgia, making Georgia and its 16 electoral votes red for Donald J. Trump. He furthers the gap. North Carolina, according to RealClearPolling.com, Trump has a 0.9 lead in North Carolina, probably due to his hurricane response team and Starlink, making North Carolina at 16 electoral votes red for Donald J. Trump. Now the big one is Pennsylvania. Either candidate needs this to win if the polls are even within the margin of error of 3 to 5%. Pennsylvania, according to RealClearPolling.com, Pennsylvania is red for Donald J. Trump, giving him 297 electoral votes. To Kamala Harris is 241. If he had the Michigan like he has had for the last two weeks, he would be well over 300 electoral votes. We have done other maps this week that have had Kamala Harris winning the election. So this is based on realclearpolling.com. Donald J. Trump wins with 297 electoral votes. To Kamala Harris is 241. Who do you guys want to win in the comments? Does this make you angry? Does it make you excited? Let us know in three separate comments. I am President Ross. And I'm Bags. And we are out. Real clear polled.